Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how we can use our note editor in Laravel and I'll show you everything step by step from the very beginning. So I have just created a fresh Laravel project and I also have created a database and a table called post for this. We have only title and description in this table. So right now, first of all, what we're going to do is that we're going to create a Sour node editor over here. So in order to do that, let's just go back to our code. And here we'll just directly go to resource, heroes, then welcome.blade.php. And from here, I'm going to remove everything and we are going to save our head HTML. Right now, if we save, then if we now refresh here, there you can see it is empty right now. So first of all, what we need to do is that in order to create the summon node editor, we need to use bootstrap CDN link, jQuery CDN link, and the summon node uh, CDN link. Let me just show you. Uh, here, we'll go to summonnode.org. I'll also give this link in the description. And here you can see getting started. So I'll click over here. Then if we now go to the installation section, and if you go down here, you can see we have the bootstrap CDN link and the jQuery CDN link and here this is for the Sour Not CSS and JS. So I'm going to copy this Control C and I'm going to paste it inside the head section Control V. And after this, in order to create the Sour Not editor, what we need to do is that here you can see we can either use a div to create the Sour Not editor or we can also use the form as well so we're going to use this form so right now let me just copy this let's go back and we're going to paste it inside the body so if we save then if we now refresh here it will show us a simple text field over here here you can see we have a simple text area so in order to turn this into a server node what we need to is that here you can see we have a skip code over here javascript code so i'm going to copy this let's go back and here at the end of the body section, we're going to show our here script. Then in this script, we're going to show our here those JavaScript code. Only this. And here you can see ID equal to server node. So what this script will do is that this ID will make this text area into a server node editor by using this function. Okay. So right now, if we say, then if we now refresh over here, there you can see it become a Sour not editor. So we can increase the height and width for the sound not editor. Let me just show you. Uh, here, if we just go down, uh, here you can see placeholder hello booster 5 tab size 2, and here you can see height. So let me just copy this control C. Let's go back and uh, let me just write it like this. And here you can see sour not. So inside it, we're going to give to second bracket. And we're going to paste the code over here, whatever we just copied. And instead of hello, bootstamp, let's over here my editor. Tab size will be 2 and let's say height will be 500. Save. Okay, let's also mention the width. Let me just show you. Width, it will be 500 as well. If we now save it, then if we now refresh here, there you can see height changed over here. And we have a width of 500. So let's just keep the width full size save it then refresh here and there you go so right now let me just make a input field over here uh, in this form let me just mention over here a div and in this div we are going to have a level the level will be title title and for this level we are going to have a input field so input type it will be text and name equal to title and for this text area, let's also mention a div. Then in this div, we're going to say level and the label will be description. And let me just cut this text area from here and paste it over here. And after it, we're going to have a submit button. So let's just mention a div. Then in this div, we're going to say what here, input type, it will be submit. Then we are going to mention a bootstrap class. The class name will be, let's say, btn, btn success. So right now, if we save, let's go back, refresh, and there you can see title, description, and the submit button. So we want to upload those data to the database table, which is called post. So in the sour note, in order to upload the data from here, it is a little bit different. 
So let me just show you step by step. So let's go back and in the form, the method will be post. We need to mention our here ENC type. It will be multipart slash form data. Then we also mention the, we also need to mention the at the end of CSRF token. And in this form, we are going to show our head action. And let's keep our head to second bracket. We we'll show our head URL to first bracket. And let's say the function name will be upload. Let's save it. Then let's go to routes, then web.php. And let me just write it out over here. We are going to show our head route to our clone. Route will be post. Then we'll mention our URL name, which is upload, comma, to third bracket. We we'll use the home controller. Home controller to our clone class, comma, to single quotation. Let's say function name will be upload. So right now, let's go to our home controller and create this function called upload. So we'll go to our app, HTTP, controller, then home controller. So right now, over here, I already mentioned the post model name at the top. So here, we're going to say public function upload to first bracket with our here a request dollar request after that to second bracket and here right now first of all we're going to declare a variable let's say our here dollar description this variable is for the server node editor equal to we get the data from the server node editor and here you can see name equal to edit data let's say our here description just to make it more sense so let me just copy this let's go to the home controller we're going to server here dollar request arrow sign description and after this i'm going to copy some code and the code is this one here we have like a 13 line of code and if i start typing it it will take some time so i'll just copy and paste and don't worry i'll also give this code in the first comment so that you can also copy the code and paste it forever you need so let me just copy this let's go back and i'm going to paste it over here and here you can see dom equal to new dom uh, dom document we need to write this for someone note and after it here you can see dom load html dollar description we are mentioning this variable over here then what we are doing over here is that by using the tag name we are separating the image file so whenever we upload any image over here let me just show you we can upload any image over here uh, if i now upload an image over here there you can see if we upload any image the image uh, the tag for the image will be img tag right so by using the image tag we are separating the image and after it we are mentioning the for each loop because there might be multiple image we are saying over here this dollar image file as image we are getting the image source we are decoding it and here we are uploading the image this location you can change the location and this folder will be in the public folder and we are giving the image a unique name by using the time function the type will be dot png uh, we are mentioning the image name over here and here you can see set attribute uh, what will be the image height width and the position we are also mentioning over here because in summer note we can change the image height like this okay also the position as well like this okay so we are mentioning our mentioning it over here and after it we are saying dollar decision equal to dom save html so whatever we have over here we are storing it in this dollar description variable so after it, what we can do is just, just normally we can just declare a variable over here dollar post equal to uh, we are going to mention our table model name which is post. So we we'll over here new post. Then we we'll over here dollar post this arrow sign we we'll set title equal to dollar request this arrow sign title and this title will come from here. You can see name equal to title. And let's go back and after it, we are going to show it here dollar post this arrow sign description equal to and this description will come from the database table from here, obviously. So, and we are going to mention this dollar description variable over here. Okay. And after it, we can just say over here dollar post this arrow sign say. 
and after saving the data we'll just keep the user to the same view so we we'll over here return redirect this arrow sign back okay so let's save it and let's go back to our browser let me just refresh here then let's so here in the title let's over here hello then here we're going to say my first edit then let me just uh give some list over here let's say a b c f g h i j whatever and after it let me just add some random text over here let me just make it bold and after this we're going to add a image let's upload uh, this image click open let's resize the image we can also change the image position over here as you can see and we can also like change the image position to the left side i think that will be better we can also increase the image size like this as well so let me just write some random text over here then if we now click on the submit button there you can see it's reloading and the data is uploaded so right now and there you can see we have the description over here and if you want to just see what is inside this description uh, let me just show you if i now click on edit there you can see it will show you like this so right now how do you show this data in laravel you are able to upload it right but how do you show it in laravel let me just add one more data over here let me add one more image here uh let's choose this image click open then click submit there you go so right now let me just show you how we can display the data from the sub or not editor so let's go back and right now in the web.php let me just copy this route control c then control v and this route will be get and here we're going to say the route name will be show we'll use the home controller the function name will be show so let's go to our home controller then we're going to say over here public function show to first bracket then to second bracket and we're going to say over here dollar data equal to let's say we'll get all the data cost all then we need to return this data to a specific view so we are going to show it here return view and the view will be let's say show the blade file name will be show and we're going to show it here compact and it will be this data control c control v like this so right now let's go and create this show.blade.php in the views folder so let me just right click then click new file and we are going to show here show dot blade dot php control s then save and here let's just give a simple html tag and we are sending the data to this view right and there is multiple data so we need to use for each loop over here so we are going to show it here at the rate of for each then dollar data as dollar data then in the for each loop at the end of int for each and we have the title and description right so let's just have the title in h2 tag or h1 tag and you have to get the title we can just normally write over here dollar data this arrow sign title but in order to show the description it is a little bit different let me just show you if i now save it and here you can see our uh, url name is slash show it will just go to that URL over here. We're going to say slash show press enter, and there you can see we are able to get the title over here. But if we try to get the description the same way, it don't work. Let me just show you. Uh, inside this p tag, if we just say over here dollar data this arrow sign description, it will give us an error. Save it, then refresh. There you can see it is showing us the data, but data is different. It is not showing the data properly. So right now what we can do is that or what we need to do is that here we need to give all single second bracket. Then we need to give this sign before dollar data description and also after it. So right now if we say then refresh and there you go. We are about to see the image the way we upload it from the someone node so we can just add some padding over here 
uh, sonnet uh, let me just say what here style margin it will be 100 px save then if we now refresh there you can see there is now some gap over here so this is how you can upload data using Savan node and also see data in Savan node. I hope this tutorial was useful to you. If you have any question or any suggestion, just let me know in the comment section and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.